Maggie and the Monster, written by Elizabeth Winthrop, illustrated by Tommy DiPola. Every night, a monster came into Maggie's room. She crashed into the furniture. She crawled under the table. She sat down on the chair and grumbled to herself. Maggie didn't like the monster. Get out of my room, she shouted. But the monster didn't pay any attention. She just pushed her big hairy feet around on the floor inside. Maggie turned over and went to sleep. A monster comes into my room at night, Maggie told her mother. What does it look like? Her mother asked. She's got big hairy feet, Maggie said. I wonder why she likes your room so much, said her mother. There's a monster in the upstairs closet too, Maggie said. She sits in the corner behind the brooms. Really? Her mother said. I've never noticed. That night, Maggie hung a sign on her doorknob. It read, Maggie's room monsters keep out. But the monster paid no attention. She just banged the door open and marched right in. Can't you read? Maggie asked in a loud voice. The monster didn't answer. She sniffled around under the bed and peeked behind the curtains. She knocked some books off the shelf. Watch out, Maggie shouted. You are the clumsiest monster I ever met, the monster didn't pay any attention. She sat down in the same old chair and grumbled to herself. Maggie stared at her for a long time. Then she turned over and went to sleep. The monster came back last night, Maggie said to her mother. I think she's looking for something. Why don't you ask her? Her mother said. That's a good idea, Maggie said. That night when the monster walked in, Maggie sat up in bed. Hi, monster, she said. The monster shuffled up and stared stared at Maggie. Hello. What do you want? Maggie asked. I'm looking for my mother, the monster said. 
Why didn't you tell me that before, Maggie said. Come with me. She took the monster by the hand and led her down the hall. The monster in the closet peeked out from behind the brooms. This must be your mother, Maggie said. She has big hairy feet just like yours. Mama, the monster cried. My baby, said the monster, mother monster. Maggie left them alone together and went back to bed.